Hi guys, welcome to Face and Pretty. Honey here. Today we're doing a walkthrough of Keymaster Tarot, and I'm starting this by reading you the introduction of the little white book. First there was the House of the Rising Spade, a place outside of space and time, beyond the physical world. Now the Keymaster opens the gates and continues the saga by expanding this fantasy world. With the Keymaster project, I've added something new to the House of the Rising Spade and will show you 22 ancient chambers for you to explore, the major arcana of the tarot. These new chambers contain esoteric content and mysterious symbols based on the iconography of the two most popular historical tarot decks, the Tarot of Marseille, a playing card deck which dates back to at least the 17th century, and the Rider Waite Smith Tarot, an occult divination deck first printed in 1910. These historical tarot decks use the Latin suits of swords, batons or wands, cups and coins or pentacles. But the original House of the Rising Spade was a deck that used the French suits of spades, clubs, hearts and diamonds. For the Keymaster, I merged the two suits using the French suits as a base and putting the Latin suits from the Marseille Tarot on top of as golden sigils. In this unique feature, the sigils seal the correspondences with a magical bond. The House of the Rising Spade exists only in your imagination. The archetypes you find within are a foundation. I've given you hints and shown you a few parts of the world but the rest is something you can explore in your head and build upon. The questions you can explore are endless. How big is the house? How many rooms? How many stories? How old is it? What is the interior like? Is it a ruin or still in its splendor? Visitors follow the key master through the gates and enter the magical world. So this is an amazing deck that was originally a Kickstarter that I missed out, but I contacted the, the creator, Lorenzo Gacciotti, from the Stockholm 17 Playing Cards. The company is actually in Sweden, and I managed to get this one. And the major arcana, they are really colorful. And on top of the colors, there are these golden geometrical shapes which remind me a lot of Lady Frida Harris's work in the Toth Tarot, even though this is inspired by Marseille and the Right of Waite Smith. And I originally hesitated on the Kickstarter because this is a playing card pip deck, but since I've learned to work with Marseille, I, I really wanted this. And these major arcana, they are amazing. Look at the Empress having the triad there on gold, like having Keter, Chokma and Bina there. These are really phenomenal. And in the Emperor, we have the more geometrical shapes. Also reminds me a little bit of the Tabula Mundi and the idea behind that deck. There are the animal shapes, like the, in the Emperor, the White Eagle. They are in different colors, and this has also a lot of Egyptian vibes. Like there with the Hierophant, we have a pyramid shape in front of there. And then there is the eye symbol, that makes me think of the Eye of Horus. And the same thing here with the Lover's card. You see the pyramids behind, and then again the bird is really white on top of the otherwise colorful image. And I like that the people, they have cool tattoos also in this deck. These golden geometrical shapes, they are present in, in all the major arcana, creating different patterns. And like here in the justice card, creating these balance and, and connecting the sword to the scale. They are really, really fascinating. 
the hermit, it has a star there. It's a bit tricky to get these all to be catched on the camera. And a beautiful night sky with stars behind him. And in the wheel, we have yet again really Egyptian symbolism like a head of a pharaoh or a sphinx on top of there. The wheel. So many kind of toss type images also. Or maybe it's just my perspective that makes me see the top symbolism and the work of Lady Frida Harris also in this deck. But the colors and the patterns, they are so vivid. Just can't transfer them into the camera. There's a little cap climbing on top of a, the pole or, or the leg of the hanged man. Unique stuff. And the death card, the layers are amazing. It looks like he has this almost invisib invisibility cape on top. And behind on the back, black background, there are also small symbols or patterns, which the camera just can't capture the way I would want them to. And look look at the dress or, or the clothing on the, on the temperance. So much vivid colors. And then with the devil, we have the pentagram there. And the devil, he has huge breasts. And then the golden lines are attached to the people that, that are bind to him. But I think all these major arcana, they are really easy to see what they are. They are really clear creations of, of these archetypes and symbols that we all know so well. I love the headdress on the star. She's really magical with it. And again, there's a little white bird. And look at the moon card. They are so, you just instantly know which card you are looking at, even though you have the great titles and, and the number numberings. But I think that this deck, at least so far, it looks like it reads really clearly. And the sun card, I really like that one. No naked baby in this one. And she's like praising the sun. Like you can feel the joy in that image. And the judgment card is really interesting. There are so many layers in this one. It took me a while to even see the symbols at first. But when you look closely, you see all the elemental symbols in this card. Here if we zoom in to the person kind of crucified in the center, we have the symbol of earth. And see how the pyramid goes up layers. And in his forehead, there's the symbol of air. And in the other hand, there's a symbol of fire. And in the other one, the symbol of water. I personally, I love the elemental symbols a lot. So I think those are cool add-ons to the images. And then finally, we have the world card. Again, really traditional. We have the four cherubs in the corners. These are really easy to spot. And then between the difference in major and minor arcana is that the major arcana are golden bordered and all the minors are with these black borders. And cool thing about in these aces is that even though these are the playing card images, but the aces, they have sign language symbols. You see also there was the symbol of earth but here you can see there's T and there's A on the upper corner. And these are in all the aces. And then we have the R and the O below. 
and the back design is also really detailed and amazing and it has this nice gold foil these cards are playing card materials so they are really nice to handle even though they are thin and then the pips we we just have the playing card symbols but then we do have the marseille image in a gold foil around it so if you've been using marseille you spot easily the curved swords in these on top of the, the traditional spades so i think this is gonna look beautiful while doing spreads then the core cards are illustrated again and the pages are jacks like in the playing card deck and also in these amazing symbolism we have a curved curved sword a sword there and a snake and then there is the golden eye symbol there and all the chord cards they are really detailed and I think that it's easy to spot if you know that the spades are the swords then this deck is really easy to handle and I also love the faces like this queen they're kind of modern but still kind of ancient unreal in a way and then we have the king of spades completing the suit of spades or swords and then we jump to the diamonds which are the pentacles which are the earth and here we do have the symbols and here you see the another sign language marker or letter and in the two of Pentacles is often the, the card in, in Marseille deck that is signed and that's the same in here that the Two of Diamonds is the signi uh, significating card Where's the signature of the creator of in the company? And again the court cards the colors are amazing and each and every one of them have these patterns and, and shapes in this gold foiling and I think that the color contrasts between this deck see how there's a lot of red in this one like in the space it was a lot of the black I think it's just gorgeous but I'll just let you look at the images piece for the for the rest of the suits and in the end I'm gonna show you a shuffling by the way this deck shuffles beautifully which is no wonder because it is made made in a company that makes playing card decks also here we have the gold foil and these symbols and we do have also in each of the, each of the aces we do have the small symbols around this round area trying to focus here we have water and and sulfur and salt and mercury symbols in all of this so we do have a little bit of alchemy happening also
if we compare the size with the standard right away it's Smith it's just a bit thinner it's as tall but a bit narrower and as I said earlier the shuffle is great So that was the Keymaster Tarot. I think this is a really unique deck in my collection and I'm really interested of working with it. Thanks for watching and until next time again. Bye guys!